السلام علیکم سر شکر میں ہوں سارا انجم ہیلتھ مرس کے ایک نئے ایپیسوڈ کے ساتھ بات ہوئی بائی پاور میڈیا اینڈ مارکیٹنگ ویئرس کیا آپ اپنی اسکن سے پریشان ہیں کیا آپ اسکن ریش اور ایکنی سے پریشان ہیں کیا آپ کو اپنی پرانی اسکن یاد آتی ہے کیا آپ اپنی اسکن کو اور بہتر بنانا چاہتے ہیں اگر ان سب کے جواب ہاں ہیں تو ہمارے ساتھ جڑے رہیں ویئرس آج کے جو ہمارے ڈاکٹر ہیں وہ ایک پہلی فیمل ڈاکٹر ہمارے شو پہ آئی ہیں اینڈ شیز پاکستانی time? Well, I love what I do, so I think that the dermatology is, was, is the best career choice for me, and I really enjoy working with patients all ages and uh, using my hands, which uh, we do a lot of different procedures in dermatology, so I get to use a lot of different skills. So, Dr. Asper, please tell me, what things have inspired you to become a dermatologist? That's a really good question. Uh, initially, I thought I was going to become a primary care doctor, but as I was progressing through medical school, I realized that I really liked the idea of specializing in something, and what appealed to me most about dermatology was that uh, not only can you see uh, patients of all ages, all, uh, you know, from infants to the very old, but uh, you get to do a lot of procedures in the office and you get to establish relationships with your patients. So it was the perfect career choice for me. Thank you, doctor. Now we're going to move up to our questions. May you tell me what is dermatology? So dermatology is the specialty that has to do with the skin primarily, but also it deals with hair and nails and the mucous membranes. So things like the um, the nails, the eyes, the inside of the mouth, all of these things are included in dermatology along with the hair. So throughout your um, career, what is the most um, common um, dermatology problems have you seen? Uh, there's many different dermatolog dermatologic problems that are very common, uh, ranging from you know, dandruff to acne to eczema. Um, there's other things like psoriasis that are also very common and uh, obviously skin cancer is one of the biggest uh, conditions that we deal with. Doctor, you just mentioned uh, eczema. What is eczema? Well, eczema is a type of inflammatory condition. It's based on a dysfunction of the immune system and it can be inherited and sometimes people can also acquire it at, as they become older, but generally it's associated with other things like seasonal allergies and asthma, and it, it basically manifests in the skin with rashes that are itchy, usually in the forearms or in the back of the knees, sometimes on the neck, the hands. These are all common locations for these rashes. So eczema ka symptoms kya hai? Ke how does a, a person know, scare, like, you know something's going, going wrong? Well, you'll feel it. You'll feel itchy, red, uncomfortable, dry. If you're having these symptoms, then you should probably be seen by a dermatologist. Or is key um, prevention scan? One of the most important things would be to keep uh, a skin barrier intact. So normally, if you have um, skin that isn't prone to eczema, you're not as likely to have skin that's going to break down as easily. You have natural oils in your skin. But people who have eczema have less of the natural oils, and their skin breaks down more easily. And that can be made worse by excess washing. Um, a lot of rough uh, sponges or soaps can be uh, worse for eczema than they would be for normal people. Uh, so those, one of the things that I always caution my patients with eczema to do is to use a mild soap and to uh, minimize the amount of time that they're spending in the shower and in, in hot water to help keep the skin barrier intact. So is there any um, soaps that you would recommend or they can use any soaps? I like to use uh, moisturizing soap. So for example, things like Dove mm -hmm. uh, soap are really good because they contain a moisturizer. Um, other soaps that contain moisturizers would be Tone or Caress. Uh, 
Yes. Soaps that people often use, like Irish Spring or Ivory, tend to be a little bit harsher on the skin. And they tend to give you like dryness and itchiness after some they people use They can be drying, yes. yes. Yeah, yes. especially for people who have eczema. Yeah. So, Doctor, uh, you were talking that about um, dermatology includes um, hair loss. How does that um, help or have a problem with that? with dermatology, with hair and dermatology? Well, I mean, there's many different things that can go on with the hair, not just hair loss, but you can also have problems with too much hair, and dermatology deals with that too. Uh, but it's in terms of hair loss, there's uh, many different reasons for hair loss. It can range from autoimmune conditions that can cause hair loss, meaning your immune system is not working as it should be, and mm -hmm. uh, you can get a condition called alopecia areata, which is when you have hair loss, usually in like circular patches from different parts of the body, usually in the scalp. But then the most common type of hair loss is actually the type of hair loss that we call um, androgenetic alopecia, which is in more simple terms, male pattern hair loss. But females can also get it. So you can have a, a woman who will have female pattern hair loss. With females, instead of the hair loss happening in the sides and in the top, usually the hairline is preserved the and then the top of the hair is where the thinning will occur more. So in comb, uh, prevent Another good question. So unfortunately you can't do too much about your genes because a lot of these types of hair losses are inherited. Yes. But there are other things that can also contribute to hair loss. For example, uh, vitamin deficiencies, nutritional deficiencies, thyroid problems, anemia. These are all things that can contribute to hair loss. And uh, one of the things that you can do to help prevent your hair from shedding excessively is uh, to make sure that you're, you have a healthy diet and that you're seeing your doctor regularly if you have any uh, other medical problems because they can contribute to hair loss. Another thing that contributes is uh, stress. So avoiding stress is important if you're trying to keep as much of your hair as possible. So it's not like, easy. Yeah. So we Asian people like to put oil in hair when um, we find out that um, or they they have their own uh, remedy with andalagalia um, or yogurt lagalia. How does that also help from um, preventing hair loss? Well. Those techniques are not really addressing the follicle, which is the root of the hair. They're typically addressing the, the shaft, which is what we see the hair is growing, from, um, growing into. And uh, they, if you're using various types of proteins like yogurt or eggs, ande, to wo aapke baalon ko temporarily smooth kar sakta hai, magar it's not going to really make a difference in uh, preventing the hair from falling out. All right, thank you, doctor. Mm -hmm. Next thing I would like to know, what is acne? Uh, acne is a medical condition that is, uh, it starts out with, uh, it's caused by a number of different factors, hormones, bacteria that live on the skin, uh, blocked pores. These all contribute to develop bumps that are uh, pus bumps sometimes, red bumps, whiteheads, these are all different types of acne. And they usually occur on the face, but it can also occur on the chest, the back, the arms, sometimes even on the neck. But mostly, they see acne is on face. Why is it more on the face rather than other parts of the there's body? There's more oil glands on the face, and acne tends to occur where there's oilier skin. So what's the prevention? Another good question. So one of the things that you can do to help prevent acne is to make sure you wash your face um, with a nice gentle face wash. If you have acne prone skin, then you might want to use something that has um, products in it that can help to treat acne. Uh, available over the counter, things like salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide are a good uh, soap that you can use that can help with treating acne. Um, if your acne is not under control with those therapies over the counter, then it's time to see a dermatologist. So when they would see a dermatologist, what procedures are there for them? Well, there's many different things that we can do. There's medications that range from creams to uh, soaps, 
um, to, you know, injections of uh, a steroid medication directly into pimples to help bring them down, uh, as well as pills that are taken to help control acne. There's many different types of treatment that are available. And a while ago, uh, cirrhosis cuper. What is uh, what is cirrhosis? I think you're talking about psoriasis. Psoriasis, yes. yes. Sorry for that. Uh, so psoriasis is another type of autoimmune uh, condition that can occur in the skin. Uh, we don't know exactly what triggers it, but we do know that it's associated with both genetic and environmental factors. And it can often be triggered in uh, the winter time or during times of stress. It occurs typically on the elbows, the knees, the butt, the scalp, the ears. These are common locations, and people will have complaints of dry, itchy, red, flaky skin. Sometimes they can have very small, thin patches, or sometimes it can be very thick plaques, and they can be spread out all over the body or just limited in, in its scope. All right, thank you, Doctor. Now it's the time for a short break. We are some jald hazard hongi ek chote se break ke baad aur hum aur janenge skin ke upar with Dr. Rahat Afsar. Please stay with us.